this is DR from Try. So today we will design a hover animation page and we will prototype it using Blender. So let's go. So let's start with Adobe XD first. I have a clean artboard and I have set and fill colors to my choice. So let's first set a logo. We will keep it simple for now and we will add the complex prototype on it. So let's create a header or a navigation. So I will change some color here above. Now the theme is RES is a real estate company. So it has many businesses like they have theater, their own hotel, cafe, pizzeria. So we will be displaying their businesses. where user will hover over a link like theater or hotel and an image will come but that image will be a sticky animation so here i am basically laying out the whole thing making it look good I have underlined the business to let that uh, user know that this is active page. Let me change the color for the artboard. Now we will group all the text or images and we will export it as a PNG. So now open Blender and first delete everything and add a plane. You can add a plane by pressing Shift A and then plane. We will also add camera in the same way. And we will set the camera position as we need. Now we will scale the plane to our camera. You can press S and then X to scale it on X axis. And then on the same thing, press S and Y to scale it on Y axis. Now let's add our image that we have exported. Change the name and we will scale it like how we need it, like how we have designed our UI to be. Make sure you change the EV settings like I have done. We will kept our wall lighting to zero and we will change all our material to emissive material. I am just adjusting my color according to my UI or according to my design. You can do it freely by yourself. So now let's add an image. I have already a hotel image so I will add a plane and I will add a material on it which will have an image as a texture. So we will also add that image as a mask color and as emission. Now let's position our image between the text and the background. Now press tab to go to edit mode and subdivide it many times. Now go to vertex panel and add set keys. Create base key and press plus to create another key. We will name it cow right. It will be having cow to right. Make sure you add value to 1% and then go again to tab mode. Press O to enable proportional editing. You can also enable up there. So when we will toggle from 0 to 1, it will go from base to our cow set. We 
will act the same effect for left side. Again create new save key, get that to 1 and in edit mode select the vertex and go to left. Now press the recorder on the bottom on the timeline. We will record all our positions. Then we are hovering mouse over that link. The image will hover itself like sticking to. Now let's animate our image onto the cow we have set. First we will set 0 as in our value and then 1 when we reach our position. Also remember to set that 1 value to 0 when we are leaving that position. Same way I am adding right and left position, when I go to right, I will enable one value to right and when I will go to left, I will enable one on left, at the same time I will keep right at zero. Make sure in the start point we have to set right and left value both at 0. So as you have seen, in starting, I haven't set right value to 0, so I have to set it again. Yeah, that's perfect. Don't worry about the easing, we will fix it later. So now what we want is UN user over over one link to the another. The image texture will be extended to that link. Now let's set the position for that image as well. Again we will do the same thing, we'll press the recorder. So from 90 to 100, our image will be in the hotel link. So we want the right cow to go in the right side. So let's set it that way. On reaching that position, we will again set 0. This way, you can set right and left to 0 and 1 according to your choice. When right. Imagine when user slides mouse towards right, so the cow should be right. And when user slides the mouse to left, your cow should be left. If the distance of one position to another is small, then you can set less than one value so that it feels like real, as we are simulating a mouse effect.
for smoothing out the edges go to graph editor like i have done press a to select all the keyframes now press right click make sure you are on interpolation of bezier and then in handle type select automatic it looks more smoother than before right I will change the material of image to emission and for exchanging our material from theater image to hotel image we will get an mix rgb node by pressing shift a and we will duplicate our image by pressing shift d then we will open other image of our hotel Mix RGB is the same way like you can do on Photoshop or XD or Figma where you have multiple option of like darken multiply multiple blend modes basically so from 0 to 1 we will can drag out new timeline where we will set 90 as zero position of theater and then we will set one of our blend mode so that we will get an effect from going from theater image to hotel image Let's see. Yeah, it mixes well. You can also do the same for cafe and pizzeria thing. You can check your render by pressing render image so that you can know how your image is looking. Now let export our animation. In export settings, set output in your folder. Select file format to FFmpeg and our encoding container to MPEG4. We will set output quality to lossless. And press animation and press render animation to view our animation. That's it. I will see you in the next video where I will code this design using WebGL or as in 3JS. See you in the next video. Peace.